Hello, my name is Linda Dolkey. I am a demonstrator with Stampin' Up! here in Australia. And today I'm showing off our new shimmer paints, these little guys. This is Frost White. And we're going to be adding our favourite reinkers to it to create shimmer paint in any colour you like. So watch the video so you'll see how easy it is to do. So today I just wanted to show you a really quick and easy way to use your shimmer paint but something a little bit different that you might not have tried yet. So I used it on all three of these cards, well <laughs> I used it on these two, okay, um, and what I've done is I've actually coloured my shimmer paint so that I got this lovely green shimmery wreath behind in this case the word Mary and in this case I've used a, a reindeer from the um, detailed reindeer thinlets, the, the leaping deer which I think was quite pretty and I used that same one here but this time I did it in gold. This time I didn't colour it I just used the gold, the Vegas gold that we have available right now um, which I think is also very beautiful but I want to show you how I coloured the paint and then how I got that effect. So um, so the first thing I've done is I've already pre-embossed a couple of um, white squares. These are 10 centimeters square, which is very close to four inches square. And the wreath fits quite beautifully on that. Uh, the wreath itself is this one. It's called the Seasonal Wreath Dynamic Fi uh, Textured Embossing Folder. And it looks like this. And if you can see that, it's probably easier to see if I put a dark piece of cardstock behind it, maybe. But you should be able to get a bit of an idea and it's one of those dynamic folders so it's a bit special which means when you put it through your big shot you only need one cutting plate so you would put it through as if you were embossing normally but you actually need to remove one of the cutting plates take one off just use one because it's so thick it won't go through otherwise and you'll know because you you'll feel like you're forcing it through your big shot and you won't want to do that so um, take one of your cutting plates out and you'll get a lovely impression I also usually use thicker white cardstock when I'm doing a dynamic folder if I'm going to use white I'd rather go with the thick paper because it gives I think a slightly deeper impression because of the thickness of the cardstock so um, you can use normal whisper white or any other color you'd like but I do like the thicker paper um, when it comes to these embossing folders. So I've got two here just so that we can, um, you know, if I mess one up, I can do another one, can't I? Hopefully I won't though. <clears throat> I'm going to show you how you're going to colour it. This means shimmer paint um, comes in four colours. There's frost white, Vegas gold, bright copper and champagne mist. The champagne mist is my favourite because it's the sparkliest, but the frost white is probably the most useful as far as if you have to pick just one. Um, mind you, I, I couldn't, I had to have all four, but if you had to pick just one, the frost white is the most versatile because you can make shimmer paint in any colour with your frost white. You can experiment with the others as well and add colour to those. Um, the champagne is quite translucent so it will pick up other colours, but the Vegas gold and the bright copper are probably less... Um, you can add colour not so successfully to those ones, but certainly worth experimenting. Um, but the frost white is the one that will give you the purest colour, and basically you just pick whichever re-inker colour you wish. Whoops, I should, before I take the lid off, I need to shake it. You'll hear why. It's got a, a ball bearing in it to help it shake properly. And when you open it, there's actually some uh, always shimmer paint in the lid. If you just wanted the frost white, you could use a clean sponge dauber and just go straight into that and use it as white, um, which looks quite beautiful in itself. But what we're going to do today instead is actually add a couple of drops. I'm just using a plastic lid. Um, you could use a piece of acetate or any piece of plastic, or um, you could even use a, a piece of um, paper. I'm just putting just two drops is going to be enough. You don't need very much at all. If I decide it's too dark, I can always add more. And I'm using Tranquil Tide. I love Tranquil Tide because it's kind of a blue based green. And I'm just going to add, if I add one drop, I'll, it'll be lighter. And if I want it to be a bit darker, I'll add two. So you really don't need very much. Any spoon or mixing stick of any kind and just give it a good old mix. Now the secret to getting this to look really good when you apply it to your um, embossing texture is a really light touch okay so that's fairly dark I, if I didn't want it that dark I could add a, another drop or two of the white but I'm actually going to go into this with my um, dauber just pick up a little bit and I'm gonna get the excess off onto my scrap paper here and I'm gonna start as I said with the lightest of touches so I'm just kind of gonna move it around 
in the direction that the wreath is going. And as you can see, it immediately starts to pick up the texture of, of the wreath. It looks a bit messy when you first start, don't worry about that. And I'm just going in the one direction, very, very lightly. You can see it's pretty easy to do. Now, what I should have done before I started this video is I should have put my glasses on because when you go back over the second time, so I'm going to add a little bit more colour, and I'm now going to go over, and that's a bit too much, going to go over some of those details that I missed the first time around and add a little bit more to some of those. So some of the leaves, there's a couple of little kind of um, fronds coming out the edges. So let's pick up, so you're going to pick up a little bit more detail that second time around. And I mean, I could go around probably a third time if I really wanted to. I'm probably going to get my glasses and come back and add a little bit more again. But for the purpose of this video, we'll just do twice. And of course, the secret with this, as with most techniques, is knowing when to stop. Because <laughs> you don't want to overdo it either. So I'm just going back and adding some details to some pieces that I can see that I missed the first time. A little bit more carefully this second time. So it doesn't take long and it's easy as you can see got a little bit more darker there which I'm not as keen on I missed a bit over here I can see how easy is that so you could make your wreaths you know any shade of green you like if you want to a different color you could go with that of course if you don't you don't want to be bothered with coloring your shimmer paints you can just go like I did with this one just with the gold and that looks nice too all the champagne mist all the copper the copper's really pretty as well they're all really pretty but like I said the champagne mist in my experience seems to be the sparkliest so if you love lots of sparkle that might be your favorite too okay so you should be able to see now I've got a reasonable amount of detail here now, if there was any pieces that I wasn't as keen on, just say I didn't like, for example, this bit here, it's too dark, that would be a great place to put part of my reindeer. <laughs> so you can see on this one, this was, actually, which one was my first one? This one, I did the gold first, and I blobbed a little bit here more than I wanted, so that's where I put the front of my reindeer, so he's covering up that little bit of blobby stuff. And then this one, um, put my, once again, little bit there that's where the edge of that Mary is it's over the darkest part um, that one was pretty pretty good so it didn't really matter where I put my reindeer I was pretty happy with that one um, but I think I'm getting better at them as I go along so this one's pretty good um, I might just put my reindeer's feet down here if I'm doing a reindeer or put my words across here there's so many nice um, framelets in the detailed reindeer set so you could have a standing reindeer or a leaping reindeer but I think that looks really pretty so then if you wanted to you could also you know use up what you got left here and you know go around the edge to make the edge sparkly as well I did that with this one I went around the whole edge in the gold <laughs> and that makes the edges all shiny which looks really nice it's hard to pick up how shiny it is on the video I know but hopefully you're getting an idea Okay, and then I used mint macaron because tranquil tide and mint macaron look like they were made for each other, and that ended up in there. I put my words over the top, and my card was done. How easy! I did add a few little uh, sparkly embellishments around silver ones on here and um, some gold ones on there. So there you go, easy technique today, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, now you can make shimmer paper in any color, sorry, shimmer paint in any color you want. Um, knock yourselves out with all those gorgeous colors that are available in our re-inkers. Have fun, guys. Bye.